it's another big test here at home uh, against Memphis, and not the same scoring output that you all have got from, from Trey and Nas, but everybody else seemed to pick up, starting with you. Yeah, I think it just showed that we have a, a lot of guys that can, you know, come about and make plays any given night, so that makes us a really dangerous team. It seemed like you guys were able to frustrate them on anything inside of the three-point line all night. Um, knowing that you had the, the advantage in size, was that the uh, game plan coming in? Yeah, definitely pounded it in the paint. Uh, like you said, we felt we had an advantage there, and I think we, I think our bigs did a great job of taking advantage of uh, our size and our length and our athleticism. How much confidence did that dunk give you? Uh, I felt good. I felt good. Uh, Mainly because I could get the other guys going. I felt like it was a spark for the other guys. Why did you decide to do that? I told you guys that's about it for the year. That's all I got in. Yeah, so. but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not typically I'm getting old, man. Third, third year in. Huh? <laughs> it's not typically what you do. But nah, I mean, nah. But, but what happened? Did it just kind of, you just had one guy to beat and you thought you could jump over him? Yeah, I had a lane, so why not? You said it got the guys going. Did it get you going too? Shortly after that, you hit a couple big threes. To turn yeah, back. yeah. And uh, like I've known, I've been shooting the ball pretty bad to start the season off. So it was good to see one go in and get my confidence going from there. Will always, that talks, Will always talks about the six-minute game. Y'all closed out that first half. I think went in by nine over the last six minutes. How important is that for y'all to, to finish half so strong? Good. That's another confidence booster uh, for us. Another thing we can go to film and look at and see that. Uh, you know, we're capable and, uh, you know, just keep on improving on that. As soon as they took the lead back to in the second half, y'all rattled off a 14-3 run, six different guys involved. Uh, right. What was the conversation like and what started to work well at that stretch? Oh, uh, when things like that happen, you know, we've got veterans like guys like Cavell and myself who and Daryl who say we're good, you know. Uh, we've been there before and, uh, you know, we just keep playing hard and stick to the game plan and things usually go well for us. Cavell had 14, I think, points off the bench. How mm -hmm. important is that? That's huge. And, and uh, you know, that's a guy who works really hard on his craft. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy to see him thrive today. And, uh, you know, with guys like that, you see that coming. The second half, you guys took much better care of the basketball. Um, was that something that Coach talked about at halftime? Or was that just something that, that you guys we're able to just buckle down and do Absolutely. We know that, uh, you know, Memphis, uh, at the pace they play, they, they expect that, and they're great at uh, forcing turnovers. So that was a key for us to uh, take care of the ball. And, um, you know, it's just good to see that, you know, we were able to make that adjustment. Going back to Cavell, I mean, how, how big was his performance, especially considering Nas Reed was kind of in foul trouble there in the second half? Huge, huge. He, you know, he's just an, another guy on our team that can step up. And uh, like I said, he works so hard, it, you kind of see stuff like that coming. Cavell said coming in the season, he expected his role to be defense and energy. Yeah. So to see him seize the opportunity and just put the ball on the hole, was that important for this team? I'd say so, and I think uh, you know it's important for him under, uh, understand that even though he's so he does such a great job on defense that he's capable of scoring, and uh, you know they, I I feel like he's only gonna you know skyrocket from uh, this game. How much they, do you feel like the program is built? What how how, um, how far do you think you've come as a program, and what does it feel like you guys potential as this season? Uh, well, I was here when we were uh, pretty low, so uh, you know I'm just. Happy to be a, a part of a team that uh, I feel is special and is going to win a lot of games. And I feel like we've got a lot of guys that can, you know, obviously play at the next level. And that's all that program's about. It's about, you know, getting guys better, uh, forming great teams, and going far in the tournament. But obviously, uh, you know, having guys that can play at the highest level, things like that. Tyler Harris started shooting really hot for them, and then y'all shut him down for the last like, 14 plus minutes of that game. What did you do perimeter wise? Um, was the approach to him. Yeah, we just tried to run him off the three-point line. Man, he's going to be scary when he's a senior, though. He's a, 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 a guy who can make shots like that. Uh, he's he's going to be tough. But, uh, you know, I think we did a good job uh, kind of keying in on him and making plays from there. And 